it's still 14. Just one second. Yeah, in one minute, maybe. Ah, oh, okay, then we, we shall start. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Uh, now, the next talk it will be uh, the last talk in Takeshi 16. <laughs> so the, uh, the speaker is uh, Luke Iluji, and title is Revisiting Green Iluji. So thank you, please. Well, thank you very much for the introduction and uh... Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a great honor and pleasure for me to give this lecture uh, in honor of Takeshi. And uh, I'm especially honored that uh, you have been chosen as uh, the last speaker. Uh, Wednesday at uh, uh, the social event on uh, uh, Gather Town, I record a few memories uh, that uh, Takeshi and I share, but uh, I would like to add that on the mathematical side, I owe him much. Uh, in fact, I learned a lot from him, and uh, on a few occasions, uh, his, uh, his help was in fact critical. Well, the uh, title of my talk is Revisiting the Lean UZ. Uh, actually, uh, during the, the past three years, uh, there has been a renewed interest on the, uh, this uh, paper, uh, uh, 1987 with the Ling on the lifting mod P squares and um, uh, the composition of the Durham complex. And I would like today to uh, discuss a few uh, uh, new perspectives, uh, uh, results, and uh, questions that arose uh, uh, lately. So the plan of my talk is that I will uh, first recall the, the old results of uh, over 30 years ago, then uh, sketch uh, another strategy or approach, maybe, uh, which has some uh, prismatic generalization, which I learned from uh, Bagel Bart. Uh, and uh, explain uh, briefly, dis briefly discuss some uh, applications in the, the singular case, which was not treated in my paper with the link, especially the LCI case, uh, where I get a partial degeneration in vanishing theorems. And uh, I would like to save some time to discuss uh, what is really uh, exciting. This is this uh, 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 new perspective that uh, Bargav explained yesterday, uh, the stacky approach due to him and uh, Lurie and independently to Trinfeld. So uh, the old result, uh, what does it say? So you start with the perfect field K, characteristic B positive, and the smooth scheme X over K. So for some uh, reason, uh, I like to denote by explaining the pullback by the forbidness of the base, which is in fact an automorphism, so there's not much difference. But then I have the, the Frobenius, uh, which is OX prime linear from X to, to X prime. And uh, then uh, the main result of uh, uh, my paper with Deling was that um, uh, to any uh, lift, uh, smooth lift uh, X uh, of X to W2 of K, uh, is associated a uh, decomposition in the half category of the one truncation of the Durham complex viewed as an uh, object of the half category of O X prime modules to at most one of F lower star omega. In fact, uh, we show more. We show that uh, in fact uh, X lifts 
to W2 of K if and only if this Durham complex uh, truncated is decomposed. Now, uh, local lifts uh, of uh, X exist, and uh, two such uh, local lifts are isomorphic, so they form a gerb, which is uh, bounded by the tangent bundle. And similarly, local uh, splittings of the uh, truncated uh, uh, the home complex uh, uh, exists also, and they form uh, <coughs> a gerb bounded by a tangent bundle. So, in fact, uh, the result we proved was that uh, uh, suppose we have a, a lifting uh, of x to the value two of k, then uh, in fact there is a then an isomorphism a, a bijection between isomorphism classes of uh, lifting of X and isomorphism classes of decomposition of this truncated uh, the RAM complex. And uh, this is an affine bijection, uh, which uh, identifies, uh, which is identity on the uh, H1 uh, tangent bundle. Now by multiplicativity, you will form the decomposition of the truncated uh, at most P uh, uh, the RAM complex, you get uh, decomposition of the truncation at most P minus one. And uh, this decomposition induces uh, the Cartier isomorphism on HI. So the idea of proof is that, as explained, as I explained, the local liftings of, of x prime to w two form or x prime or x because k is perfect here. They form a, a gerb bounded by Tx. Local splitting similarly a gerb uh, <coughs> bounded by Tx prime. And uh, in fact, uh, <clears throat> in, the, in the paper with the lean, we, we uh, construct an equivalence of gerb, a gerb of lifting to gerb of splitting. Uh, now, uh, this other strategy I want to, to sketch is not really another strategy, maybe, uh, another way of looking at, uh, at that. So local liftings of uh, X prime to uh, W2, well, they are controlled by the cotangent complex of uh, X prime over uh, W2 of K. Uh, in fact, this cotangent complex uh, L uh, X over W2, if you take uh, its truncation in degree at least minus one, uh, in fact, it turns out that it's also a uh, cotangent complex of uh, uh, X over W, W of K, which is perfect complex uh, in uh, <coughs> uh, perfect amplitude minus one zero. So the goal uh, is to directly construct actually uh, an isomorphism between this complex which sits in degree minus one zero but shifted to one degree on to, to the right, so Lx1, W minus one, to the this truncation uh, uh, to at most one of F, uh, uh, F lower star of omega. In fact, uh, and of course, in such a way that uh, it induces uh, C minus one on each one and uh, uh, also Fabinius on H zero. So uh, in fact, it's quite simple. Uh, the basics on the uh, cotangent complex and uh, deformation uh, show that uh, uh, this, uh, such an isomorphism in fact uh, uh, implies uh, the isomorphism between uh, the gerb of lifting and the gerb of splitting. The reason is that uh, you see, you can view these complexes uh, when you put them in degree minus one zero, that says representing a, a peak of stacks. And if you take the, the jewel, then you get uh, the stacks representing uh, liftings or representing uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, decompositions. More precisely, you, you have this, uh, this jewel of the cotangent complex and you shift it, then it has uh, homology in, in uh, cohomology in degree zero and uh, minus one in degree zero, it's O. And the same for the, the dual of the, the truncated complex with uh, H zero is, is O and H minus one is uh, tangent. 
And uh, in fact, when you take the fiber at one, you get the uh, the, the uh, torso. You you get the, uh, the job of lifting and the job of splitting. So uh, that is the idea. Uh, now, uh, of course, so it becomes a problem in uh, uh, purely uh, homological algebra. So you have to show that the, to compare this cotangent complex uh, with the uh, truncated Durham complex. And in fact, uh, uh, what I observed is that uh, you can, uh, in fact, directly construct a filtered isomorphism between uh, one complex, which uh, somehow uh, encodes this uh, cotangent complex, namely the, the derived Durham complex uh, of X over W, modulo a certain uh, step of the hot filtration, to uh, the Ramvit complex of X, modulo uh, some step of the so-called negative filtration. So L omega is the derived Durham complex of X over W. X is smooth over K, but not over W. It's a complete intersection there. And so uh, to construct this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, derived Durham complex, which is by now well, uh, well known and uh, uh, very much uh, used, you can, uh, in the local case, you take a simplicial resolution by polynomial algebra, and then you take the, the Durham complex of that resolution, and you take the total complex. And uh, you have the, uh, the hot filtration, and the uh, hot filtration, you just take uh, the stupid filtration in the uh, ecological degree in uh, omega, and then the total complex. And the gros i is the uh, cotangent complex, is the uh, I exterior power cotangent complex shifted uh, in uh, by minus I. And uh, the Naya filtration on the Durham-Witt complex is uh, defined as follows. So an I is uh, P uh, I minus N minus one, the, the V W omega N, and uh, for N smaller than I, and then you, you keep uh, uh, and i equal to uh, w omega n for n at least i. So it's a, it's a decreasing filtration. And the gro i by a uh, result of Nagard is uh, given by this truncation in degree at most i of f uh, a lower star. So in particular, in degree one, the gro one is a previous uh, truncation we were considering. I wrote to at most one, and I should have, uh, in, as an index, I should I put a, a, a superscript here. So a graded piece of degree one, so you get uh, F1 modulo F0, uh, then uh, uh, F1 modulo F2. So you get uh, gro one on the, on the left-hand side, which is the cotangent complex. And on the right-hand side, you get the truncation of, uh, of the RAM. And uh, now uh, you get your isomorphism. So now how to get uh, decomposition? When this comes from, of course, from the, what I said. So uh, on cotangent complex, uh, you take a smooth lifting x prime tilde of x prime to W2, then uh, it gives you uh, a decomposition of that uh, cotangent complex. It's, uh, it's a sum of two pieces. Uh, the uh, omega one x prime over k plus this uh, 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 cotangent complex of x prime with respect to the lifting uh, x prime tilde uh, suitably shifted and truncated, so you get decomposition of x prime plus omega one. So then, when you apply a lambda p uh, minus one to uh, formula for, for p minus one, you get the decomposition uh, at most p minus one. Okay. So in fact, you could ask whether you could remove the mod field P and mod N P from two two, but uh, it's not possible because uh, already if you take X equal to spec K, then uh, you take the periodic yeah, completion of the Durham complex of uh, K, uh, derived Durham complex of K over W, then you get a strange object as a result of that, you get, uh, the periodic uh, ring on one variable uh, over W, uh, periodically uh, completed, and uh, modulo the ideal generated by Y. So it has torsion. If you take uh, 
uh, why uh, to the bracket P, the periodic, uh, why to the P divided by P factorial, then uh, it's killed by P. So it's not, uh, not you cannot uh, erase that. I will come to that formula, to, to that a little later. There is a question oh. often. Yes. Yes. So this is just the usual question that when you take the total complex of the finite derived the RAM, you have a choice of either taking direct product, I mean, infinite product or infinite sum. Of course, it doesn't matter with the modulo the Hodge filtration, yes, but when you exactly, consider the yes, full exactly. thing. Exactly, but uh, you, usually I think the sum, yes, yes. I think the sum. But uh, as you just said, it doesn't matter much, yes, when you take a quotient by a field P, yeah. No, but when you don't, when you say now you don't, when you, when you, in the last remark, it can make a difference. Does it make a difference? Um, in the last remark, uh, uh, I think I, 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 I use um, uh, 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 bad formalism and uh, this is, uh, I use conjugate filtration. So it's uh, the sum, the sum uh, thing, yes. Hmm. Uh -huh. I use the sum, uh, sum definition there, and then they take the completion. So it's uh, the uh, project, the uh, our limb of uh, L omega of k over W n, and this is taken in the sense of, uh, uh, of the sum. In the total complex. Is it okay? Yes, you can go ahead. Okay. Thank you. So I will uh, not spend some time on the, the proof, which, which is somehow rather uses uh, only uh, old ideas. You use local embeddings, uh, use the formula of cotangent complex or local embeddings, and then uh, you, uh, you, uh, sorry, you, uh, you calculate this, uh, uh, derived the RAM complex as a, a certain quotient of the, uh, the RAM complex of this uh, embedding uh, Z. And then uh, one of the key points where the smaller than P uh, occurs is that uh, gamma R is uh, lambda R. Uh, gamma R is SR for R smaller than P. And then you get uh, this uh, last azimorphism. So I will not... Um, uh, uh, say more there. Uh, to get the map, uh, you use uh, additional Frobenius lifts on uh, on the embedding, uh, which is uh, in fact reminiscent of the, the original proof. And then you get uh, a map from uh, from OZ to WOX, and uh, this is quite uh, standard, like in the comparison uh, between uh, the Ramvit and crystalline cobology. And uh, so uh, this is a standard tool. There's nothing uh, really new here. But uh, interesting case is that uh, interesting point is that uh, it uh, you can extend to a singular case by a so-called uh, magic uh, left scan extension from finite polynomial uh, rings over k to any scheme x. Uh, but of course, here you have to replace the Darby complex by the, this uh, derived variant. So again, you have the uh, derived uh, uh, <coughs> Durham complex of X over W with the same uh, arch filtration, the same Gr I, and you have the, also the Gr I for mega filtration of the uh, derived the, the RAM uh, in This time, instead of the truncation, uh, canonical truncation, you get the conjugate filtration. And the conjugate filtration uh, uh, has the property that uh, the gr i, instead of being just an omega i uh, shifted, is uh, in fact uh, uh, L omega i uh, shifted. So then, uh, <laughs> And if that lifting x prime tilde of x prime over w2 will give you a decomposition uh, previously, except that uh, on the right hand side, you have to replace uh, the RAM complex by uh, derive the RAM complex and the, the, the tau uh, at most p minus one by conjugate. 
So in fact, uh, uh, Akil Massieu observed that um, though in general, uh, X over K, uh, for X over the, this uh, potential complex L over X over W to uh, the truncation is no longer an isomorphism, still uh, you get a factorial map to split the triangle. The triangle, uh, OX prime minus of one, uh, potential complex over W and then uh, uh, X over K. And then uh, in fact, uh, uh, because of this X tilde, X tilde prime, then uh, again, like uh, before you, you get, uh, you get uh, a splitting uh, from uh, X prime, uh, LX prime W to OX prime of one, and which is, it can be made functorial and then you get uh, the result. So in fact, uh, I'm really interested in the LCI case, where well, this sort of observation maybe is not needed. And uh, you, from, from this on the, to eight, you, you get some partial degeneration from uh, the Durham spectral sequence and, and also vanishing theorems that are codera, both in characteristic P and characteristic zero. So I will briefly uh, talk about that uh, in section four. Now we'd like to turn to some um, uh, prismatic generalization because uh, it is uh, fashionable uh, these days. <laughs> And uh, so this was suggested to me by Bag of Bat uh, uh, two or three years ago. So, uh, so uh, recall this isomorphism. So uh, the RAM modulo FLP and uh, the RAM VID modulo NP. So it can be written, uh, rewritten in terms of prismatic homology. So uh, then you have this uh, W, uh, K, which is the, the base prism, and uh, the ideal i is uh, here uh, p, and uh, in fact uh, uh, the so-called prismatic crystalline comparison theorem gives you that the Durham-Witt complex, which calculates uh, uh, git, which calculates uh, crystalline homology, is in fact the, the complex uh, calculating. Uh, prismatic cohomology up to uh, some inverse image by the phi. So here phi w is the Frobenius of w, and uh, delta x over on, or prism uh, x over w is the, the direct image of the structural sheet by the projection of the prism prismatic uh, side to the etal side. And uh, in fact, uh, this, uh, so the right, uh, the left hand side is uh, equipped with uh, uh, Niger filtration, and the right hand side uh, also has a very subtle uh, uh, Niger filtration uh, that I think uh, Lars Esselhout uh, uh, alluded to, to that in, his, uh, in uh, some of his remarks at uh, uh, Bad Stock. And uh, so there is a, a Niger filtration there. And this is compatible with the uh, uh, filtration. So then, um, uh, more, more generally, you can, uh, well, uh, you can uh, uh, take uh, any base prism. Uh, usually, you assume it to be bounded. I recall here the, uh, what it means. So in the, the favorite examples like uh, uh, Barga explained yesterday, WP, the, the, uh, the Brachis in prism, the, 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 the Fontaine uh, prism in Suxi. And uh, then um, you start with some um, uh, formal smooth scheme, X over A mod I. Uh, in the previous case, A mod I was just uh, spec K. And then you have this uh, prismatic uh, complex, uh, delta x over a, uh, the direct image of uh, O. So then, uh, then, uh, ah, stop. Uh, I can't, ah, yes. So, uh, yes, so the theorem is the following. Uh, there exists, uh, so it's complicated. It's a result which appeared in the, um, uh, the work of the, uh, which is not yet published by uh, Li, uh, by uh, Shechang Li and Tong Liu. 
uh, you, you construct some uh, filtered isomorphism. So there is no longer any mod field P and mod NP. So uh, this is quite subtle. Uh, you have the, derived, uh, the filter derived in category and to be fashionable these days, you said the infinity category. And uh, then uh, the right hand side, you have this uh, sort of a crystalline cohology, should, should I say, the variable star of uh, delta x over e, the, the, the prismatic cohology. And you tensor uh, over a, the base prism, by the uh, derived uh, uh, the RAM complex uh, A uh, mod I over A. Of course, uh, everything has to be periodically completed. So this uh, uh, L omega uh, A mod I over A is a substitute for what I uh, previously considered the L omega of the K over W. And then here it's a uh, derived RAM bit, uh, derived the RAM of the X over A. So the, there are filtrations there. So on A, you have the IID filtration. On this, you have the Nagat filtration on the prismatic side. On the, and on the uh, Durham side, uh, the uh, derived Durham complexes, you have the hot filtration. So it's com compatible with the filtration. So it, uh, when you, you take um, uh, so-called transversal prism, that is A mod I is P torsion free, which is certainly not the case of uh, W and P, then uh, this uh, fancy derived Durham thing, uh, derived Durham complex, it turns out to be concerted in one degree. Uh, this is the P completed uh, PD envelope of I in A. And then you get, uh, the, in, in this case, you get uh, a reformulation of prismatic crystalline comparison here. Uh, now, if you uh, come back to the original case, W of K of P, Okay, per perfect, uh, certainly not transversal, but then uh, you get uh, somehow a generalization of what uh, the previous formula, because there is no more uh, uh, quotients by phil or n, and uh, you have this, uh, so the, the, the prismatic thing is the and, and then you have those uh, derived Durham complexes. And um, uh, for, uh, X equal uh, spec K, then you get uh, tautologically this uh, uh, identity I uh, explained uh, before. Uh, now, uh, if you divide by P step <coughs> of person, then uh, of course uh, this uh, ugly uh, derived the RAM of uh, A, A mod I over A disappeared, and you get uh, an isomorphism, which is the inverse uh, in the case uh, of the. Uh, crystalline prism is the inverse actually of the isomorphism uh, I define. So now if you apply group one to this uh, uh, three, then you get an isomorphism that was uh, uh, obtained by Batch also. Uh, and uh, it was in fact generalized to a singular case by Andrews Lebra. And um, it's possible that uh, uh, the, the theorem of uh, 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 Shi Chang Li and Tong Liu, which uh, at the moment is uh, stated in the smooth case, uh, formal smooth case, would uh, also uh, apply to the, the singular case. Uh, now it should be a form of that. Uh, in any case, um, uh, this isomorphism uh, three three. Uh, so it, in fact, as I said, it was proposed by uh, Bargav to me. There was a sketch of proof, and um, ah, uh, yes, techniques of proof. I will uh, I will uh, skip that because uh, uh, it is too complicated. It's uh, uh, too uh, not too complicated, but too, too technical. You use this uh, quasi symptomic. Uh, uh, a mod I algebra, large quasi symptomic, and uh, and uh, the same uh, techniques uh, which are used to construct the Nagat filtration. And then you reduce the transversal case. So now I can briefly say a few words about the applications to um, the LCI case. Uh, so let me recall that, uh, so now we, we, we forget about the prisms, we come back to prisms uh, later uh, in the talk. But uh, here you, uh, you start with an X over K, which is LCI. 
and in the flat lifting uh, over W2, then you get a decomposition, as I said. So this, this decomposition is in fact uh, 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 compatible with the obvious filtrations on the both sides. So the filtration by uh, the sum up to J on the left hand side and uh, uh, the, the filtration uh, on the, the conjugate filtration on the right hand side. And on the, on the grow, then you get uh, the morphism between the omega i exponent over k, so derived, uh, and uh, uh, the gro i of the uh, for the conjugate filtration, uh, which is uh, uh, what I'm uh, interested in. So uh, from this, uh, I would like to sketch uh, to, to state a few results that uh, Barga obtained. Then, so one is uh, suppose the x over k is proper LCI, pure dimension d strictly smaller than p and which is liftable to W. Then uh, here, there's a different kind of completion that you take. You take the Hodge completed uh, derived Durham complex, that is the take the R limb of the L omega divided by phi. Then for N sufficiently small, uh, smaller than D minus S minus one, where S is dimension the singular locus, then you get some kind of a a partial degeneration. So dimension of uh, the Durham cohomology is a dimension of a, Hodge cohomology. So this is the, the formula here. And uh, so on the right hand side, you, you have the for i at most d, but for i greater than d, the, the HN which appears is zero. So uh, in fact, uh, when you uh, look at the case, for example, an x of the k smooth, the singular uh, locus is empty. So its dimension is minus infinity. So d minus s minus one is plus infinity. And then there is no, no restriction on n, n had to be uh, smaller than d, but then no restriction. The completion, the uh, completion is just the complex, and then you get uh, uh, the <coughs> uh, results in uh, my paper with the link. Uh, of course, uh, the dimension d had been supposed uh, to be uh, uh, smaller than, than p. And uh, of course, in presence of lifting. So, uh, in fact, uh, in DI, uh, we proved that um, for D equals P, the decomposition uh, also holds, but uh, and, uh, for theory, this uh, the degeneration of the uh, Durant spectral sequence, but this, uh, in fact, in, uh, in this singular case, we don't know. Uh, so by standard spreading out arguments, you get a result, a similar result in characteristic zero, which is exactly the same shape except that uh, here you don't need to assume uh, D is smaller than anything. Uh, so then uh, I would like to point out that for uh, X over C, uh, and in fact, not just LCI, but uh, in, in separated and finite type, there is a remarkable result by Barga to the effect that this uh, uh, Hodge completed the complex uh, calculate the, the cohomology of the, uh, uh, the complex space uh, associated to X. So X proper, X, and not necessarily smooth. Uh, calculate Betty cohomology. Uh, so I will uh, maybe for lack of time, I don't think I can uh, uh, discuss the ingredients in the proof of the previous theorem. So they are very nice, actually. They are nice uh, um, commutative algebra arguments. And uh, it uses certain uh, um, property of uh, cohen macaulay uh, cohen macaulay ness for uh, complexes that uh, Bargav uh, developed in his pool, uh, cohen macaulay ness for uh, absolute integral closures of excellent Assyrian domains. And so, in fact, uh, we show that these, uh, all these uh, complexes, uh, an omega i, et cetera, which would be, in fact, a zero for i large. Uh, but uh, for i uh, greater than d, they may be not zero, but they live in uh, something uh, the, uh, to, to, to the right. So they're in d at, at least uh, d minus s, where s is the dimension of the singular uh, uh, locus. And so combining uh, 
decomposition. And uh, uh, of course, uh, using Reynolds trick, you get uh, also uh, uh, coderatite vanishing theorems, uh, which I wrote here. Uh, so uh, here, the, the same assumption. Uh, so in, there are two cases. And characteristic P, you assume that D is smaller than P. And you have this strange uh, uh, condition that N is smaller than the minimum of D and D minus S minus one. So you have the vanishing of uh, HN, uh, L omega I tensor L minus one. So L is an uh, ample line bundle on, on X. And uh, for uh, in the, the smooth case, then you get uh, the usual uh, result in, uh, well, not usual, you get the result of, uh, uh, in my paper with the link. And for n smaller than d, h n omega i minus i is uh, tensor l, l, minus l to the minus one is zero. Uh, but uh, here there is one remark, which is, which is something annoying. So for x uh, is smooth, uh, proper and smooth, then you, uh, the, the vanishing for n smaller than d uh, is equivalent by their duality to uh, no vanishing for uh, n greater than d with l instead of l minus one. However, in the singular case, there is no analog of the, this uh, star. So there is, uh, even uh, if X has a single isolated singularity, there are counter examples, so it is observed by, by the Claude Dubesnik Sing Chang. And uh, also, if uh, you don't assume uh, LCI, then uh, also my Abramov solution of the conjecture, the con conclusion of four three uh, fails. So you have a, you you get a, by standard spreading out arguments you get a, a weaker form of the vanishing uh, vanishing of the public Lubeznik thing tongue uh, where the so again is for n smaller than something that h n uh, l minus one is zero and uh, the problem is that uh, there is this uh, d minus s minus one. While well, in their paper, they get D minus S. And uh, this is quite a hard question, apparently, to get uh, uh, D minus S. So now I would like to, uh, in the remain, uh, remaining time of my, my talk, to uh, say a few words about uh, uh, some developments I, I should uh, confess I'm not quite comfortable with. But they are so beautiful, so so exciting. So, first of all, uh, so so far we have seen the uh, decomposition uh, or the vanishing. So all come from uh, uh, two pieces. You uh, you uh, 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 construct an isomorphism between a certain Durham complex and uh, a certain Christelin complex, and brought out by some. Uh, uh, um, some filtration and take the grow one. And uh, then, so this has nothing to do with lifting. So they're completely intrinsic to, uh, intrinsic to uh, X over K. And then when you have an X tilde, then uh, by uh, just uh, deformation theory, you get the splitting of your cotangent complex and then you get decomposition. So here uh, we, in this uh, last uh, part, uh, we will, uh, uh, consider a totally different approach. But before I explain that, uh, let me recall, I, I think I just said it uh, before, but the, when X is uh, smooth and liftable to the value two, proper or not, uh, and dimension, <coughs> sorry, dimension D equals to P, then the whole complex is decomposable, not just its truncation. So in fact, uh, there is still this, uh, uh, annoying question uh, that we raised in, uh, in our paper. Suppose X was okay, smooth, is listable to the value two in a dimension D greater than P. So is F lower star of omega X was okay decomposable? Uh, and of course, if you assume moreover that X is proper, do you have the generation of Rosh to Doran? So uh, I think the question is, uh, up to now is still open, but uh, <clears throat> there were um, partial results some uh, tiny, excuse me, some tiny progress uh, above P. So Su, uh, Juno Q Su in, <clears throat> in 2006 uh, proved that uh, an all truncation to from A, A plus one of uh, the RAM are decomposable. 
that is some of the, the, the complete sheaves. And uh, Hatchinger, Piotr Hatchinger in 2020 proved that uh, for um, uh, also for exposed lift to be U2, that the truncation from A to A plus P minus two, not A plus P minus one, uh, are decomposable. And uh, as uh, Berger explained uh, yesterday, uh, recent improvement uh, by uh, Trinfeld and uh, independently uh, uh, Batten Lurie uh, is that um, you assume that X is smooth, but no assumption dimension. You assume it's liftable to W2. Then uh, a lifting of X to W2 defines the mu P action on this uh, F lower star de Ram in D of X1 of X1. So the mu P action corresponds, as I have explained, to a Z mod P grading. So you have the decomposition of the whole complex, the Ram complex, in a sum of uh, uh, pieces indexed by uh, alpha Z mod P, uh, where the non-zero HI uh, is of weight according to this uh, mu p uh, representation, well, the class of minus i in z mod p. I should say that here I have some, uh, I, I'm not so um, comfortable with that. Uh, sometimes it's minus i and sometimes it's i, depends on the convention. In uh, some recent paper by uh, um, Shou Li and uh, Shubhadi Mandal, in fact, it's uh, i rather than minus i. But in the Batlui uh, paper, I think it's minus i. So anyway, uh, using that, you get that uh, if you truncate in uh, uh, from a, a plus p minus one the, uh, interval, then uh, of course you you have uh, uh, you know, all the, uh, the cohomology uh, uh, types some, somehow, and then uh, you get the decomposition. Uh, of this truncation, which is a little better than uh, uh, Piotr Hatchinger because you get uh, P minus one instead of P minus two. So the, I say work in progress, details haven't yet appeared. I, 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 re, uh, I used uh, some, uh, some emails from, uh, from Bargav and some discussions. And uh, so in fact, there is this, uh, a uh, long paper by, by Drinfeld on the prismatization, but this is a, a EGA01. So then uh, you don't uh, really get to the, to the point, uh, no, no global uh, application. So then uh, uh, it's not so, it is extremely important, but uh, still doesn't give uh, the result of this uh, new P action. So anyway, so let me uh, say a few words about those stacks that uh, uh, Berger mentioned yesterday. So I will uh, use these stacks as the absolute prismatic stack. So Berger yesterday uh, uh, talked about the, the relative uh, the prismatic stacks at length, and at the end he discussed the absolute one. And uh, I will discuss the absolute one, but instead of working over ZP or FP, I will work with W of K as, as before. And uh, then for any uh, formal scheme X uh, over W of K, so you can associate a, a ring, a formal stack, uh, X uh, prism, over, which uh, in fact maps to W of K, a priori it's over uh, um, ZP. But uh, it, were, it uh, maps to W of K because X is over W of K, so which is called the prismatic stack or prismatization of X. And it is functorial in X, so you have a map of uh, 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 the, the formal schemes and you get a map of ring stacks. Uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, then uh, the, the fundamental example is. Uh, the one of uh, in, in Greenfield's paper, prismatization, which is for ZP. So this formal spectrum of ZP, this is a quotient uh, stack. You take the, the, the p-typical uh, width vector, uh, width scheme over ZP, W. In it, uh, you look at the formal completion along the locally closed subspace, which is defined by P is zero and uh, X zero is zero and X uh, one is non-zero. 
So in fact, uh, it corresponds to uh, bit vectors with coordinates, uh, let's say a zero, a one, a two, etc. With a zero is uh, uh, let's say nilpotent and a one is invertible. And then the, 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 the group of units of the W X on that. So you can uh, look at the corresponding uh, stack, uh, parameterizing uh, torsor plus a map to uh, W prime. And this is the, the sigma. So uh, quite a complicated uh, object. And uh, now let me uh, recall the even more complicated uh, object uh, for uh, X over WK formal. So you, X is uh, controlled by its point uh, value in uh, pinilpotent uh, WK algebra R. So uh, to any such R, you should associate uh, a group point, X uh, uh, prismatic, uh, prism of R. So this is a prism of, of uh, pairs. So is this, uh, uh, first of all, you, you give yourself um, uh, over WR an invertible WR module I. But it's a linear map, not necessarily injective. It looks like an ideal, but it's not really. Uh, from I to W of R, which lands into uh, W prime of R. So some kind of a CAR-TV divisor. For those who like uh, log structure, it's some kind of a uh, Deling Falting's uh, log structure of rank one. Uh, what Deling called the uh, uh, quotation mark uh, divisor. So you have a line bundle and a linear map to, uh, to O, but uh, it's not necessarily subjective, so the dual is not necessarily a, a, a Cartier divisor, but uh, this sort of thing. So then um, you, uh, to that you can associate, uh, so you, you can look at this ideal mapping to, not an ideal, this uh, uh, the invertible module I going to W, how you view this as a, a complex of length one in degree minus one and zero. And in fact, it's an algebra. It's a differential graded algebra. And then you can view it, if you like, as a truncated uh, simplicial algebra in degree minus one and zero. And then you can view it as a simplicial algebra. And then you can view it as a, what Berg have called an uh, animated ring. So then when you, uh, you have an, an uh, let's say a ring A, then you can look at the morphism of animated uh, rings from A into this uh, animated ring. And that gives you the point, uh, at least on the affine X. And uh, this is the, the, the <coughs> uh, definition of X uh, nabla of R, the pairs of this uh, uh, sort of Cartier divisor together with the map from this uh, uh, quotient, that's a, a quotient stack somehow, WR mod I to X. So then uh, it's uh, not so uh, trivial to unravel what it means, uh, even in the simplest cases. If you take uh, uh, X equal to uh, FP, then you get uh, ZP. If you get X equal to uh, Z, uh, spec ZP, uh, spec formal ZP, then you get uh, sigma, the Drinfeld, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, stack. And uh, another key example for us, which uh, was uh, explained to me by uh, Bargav, though I'm not sure I, I, I understand all the, the subtleties there. So you take W2 of K, which is of interest to us, and you take the, the, the prismatization of that. Is, uh, so in fact, it has a very concrete description. So you look uh, at the value of these stacks in nilpotent, uh, uh, nilpotent WK algebra R. So you look at the factorization uh, in W of R of P square. So P square D times B, where D is a primitive, that is uh, D is uh, D0, D1, D2, with D0 nilpotent and uh, D1 invertible. And B is uh, some element in W of R. And then you make uh, uh, the, the unit uh, acts on this, uh, as I said, by replacing D by DU and uh, B by U minus one B. And then you take the quotient. And this is this stack. Now, uh, now you, uh, you have the, uh, uh, 
the so-called hot state point uh, in the uh, in the mm, uh, uh, primitive element. You have one primitive element which is very interesting, which is Z of one. So we are over ZP. So V of one may be not P, but V of one is zero, one, zero, et cetera. So the first component is zero and the second one is a unit and the one. So it will induce this point from uh, spec ZP to uh, spec uh, W so to, to the V vectors over uh, ZP, uh, W of ZP. We induce a physical point uh, from spec K to spec W of K uh, uh, prism, which uh, will correspond to uh, some factorization. Uh, which factorization? Well, it will be P square equals uh, PP. And the stabilizer is given by uh, PX, is, uh, PX is X. So PX minus one is one. So in fact, on the, uh, the, the uh, W of K algebra uh, uh, on the K algebra, then uh, uh, then uh, it corresponds to uh, the the kernel of Frobenius on the units uh, of uh, on the invertible uh, elements of uh, the the uh, Witt scheme W. So you have the Witt scheme W over uh, ZP or the over small k. You pull it back. So WK. You take the, the, the group and invertible elements, and then you take the, the kernel of F. So this is G. So this is this uh, group that uh, Bergaf denoted GM sharp. And uh, in fact, this uh, GM sharp uh, always not not completely trivial, but it's not so difficult to see that. In fact, it has a, a discrete part, which is a, the, the mu p part. So it, it's in fact a product of mu p over k by uh, the kernel of f over w k, uh, f on w k. So this uh, is an enormous uh, think of kernel of f on uh, on g a. So this is alpha p. So it is sort of an infinite extension of an uh, infinite number of alpha p. So it's an enormous unipotent group, and. Uh, uh, so um, uh, this kernel of uh, F on WK actually uh, is uh, not so difficult to uh, understand. It was the calculation made by Drinfeld and it turns out to be the, the PD envelope of zero in uh, the affine line in GA. Uh, that is uh, the, the spectrum of uh, k uh, oblique brackets uh, t. And uh, though the, the ring itself is complicated, as Bergav explained yesterday, its representation are in fact very simple. So let me uh, turn, uh, let me come back to Drinfeld theorem. So you start with some uh, lifting, let, let me call it y over w2 of k, lifting x. So you get, uh, in fact, uh, a map mu, of course, on uh, y delta to x uh, zar, but in fact, uh, more, you get uh, something on, uh, uh, in fact, it, it goes to the product of that with the spec W2 of k uh, prism. And then this, uh, so there is some uh, this stack here, and then the, the stabilizer, the, BG, the B of the stabilizer appears. So you get a map on this, uh, uh, on this product of X by the BG, this uh, G, GM sharp. And uh, in particular, you get, uh, so this, uh, of course, uh, you, you, you have a map from the, the B mu P to BG. So then uh, in fact, uh, um, the prismatic comparison, uh, uh, Hochstedt comparison theorem gives you that if you take this, uh, uh, our new star of uh, O in mod P, then you get uh, the arm complex, uh, F, F lower star of uh, uh, omega uh, X over K. But um, of course, the, the fire per star, the forbidden on the base, which is negligible. But then the object you get, uh, of course, it is on, on a priori in here, and then you can look at what you get here. So you get an object in, in B mu P times XR. So you get a representation, you get an action of uh, uh, mu P. 
And then you check that HI is of weight minus I. So in fact, uh, as I said, you have this G, which is the uh, GM sharp, and you have a, a, a more, uh, a, another, a, a bigger action, uh, also a unipotent action. So uh, I said that the representations um, of the uh, uh, GA sharp are easy uh, to understand. So uh, GA sharp is the kernel of F on WK. So it corresponds to this uh, half algebra K uh, oblique bracket uh, X, PD envelope of X in K bar X. So then uh, because you uh, have X over N divided by N factorial, then you can use an exponential. And then these um, <coughs> co-modules will give you a nilpotent endomorphism. They will be exponential of something nilpotent. And so in fact, uh, basic formula uh, will give you that, um, if that G is a product of W, um, mu P by uh, W will give you that each summon is not on, it, not only you have decomposition into summons indexed by uh, Z mod P, but in each summon you have a no X uh, linear, or X prime linear, nilpotent endomorphism uh, and alpha coming from this uh, action of WK of F. And, um, uh, and now there was this nice remark of uh, 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 Batten Liu is that the, the data of uh, this decomposition and the nilpotent is moving. So it's like uh, 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 a matrix by block where you have uh, uh, on the diagonal, you have alpha and Z mod P, and then you have nilpotent things, uh, upper nilpotent, upper tri triangular things. So it's equivalent to giving uh, a whole endomorphism of this uh, F over star omega X with the eigenvalues are in fact uh, in, in Z mod P. And, and not and generalize eigenvalues in Z mod P. So then you have a, a, a decomposition, and then this uh, for each uh, generalized eigenvalue, this nilpotent uh, operator. So uh, Bat and Lui uh, went much further and uh, observed that it's analogous to a sen operator. So for if instead, if you start with some uh, X proper and smooth of the spec W of K instead of spec K, then uh, the, this analogy can be upgraded into a comparison theorem, which is a the theorem they call the diffraction. And in fact, this operator can be defined as a certain uh, derivation of the uh, uh, certain uh, uh, complex calculating uh, prismatic cohomology of the uh, W. Uh, now, uh, of course, you can ask, uh, uh, we found a new operator, a new and important operator, uh, N alpha. And uh, the first question, which was unsolved until very recently, is, is it possible that is N alpha is uh, are all zero? Well, the answer is no. So, uh, 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 Sasha Petrov, I think the same that we heard in uh, uh, the previous talk, um, by Moritz is uh, recently gave uh, examples where n zero is not zero. So it means a uh, part of weight zero. So in fact, uh, if you look at that, you, you have your uh, Durham complex. So it takes the part of weight zero and truncate in, in degree at most P. So then you get a complex which has cohomology only in degree zero and P and you have an endomorphism. So the morphism is uh, zero on the HP and H zero. So it will give you a map from uh, uh, the HP, which is omega P of minus P into uh, the, the H zero, which is O. So you get an, an extension of uh, uh, an element of XP of omega P and O. So he analyzes this, uh, this extension and uh, using some, um, uh, uh, results on uh, uh, some representation uh, uh, of the symmetric groups and uh, the representation of uh, some, some representation theory, he can construct uh, such an example, but uh, it's very indirect. He constructs actually a non-commutative uh, finite uh, uh, group scheme over uh, ZP, 
subject the B, let's say G, subject the BG uh, will give a, a counter example on the special fiber. And um, well, uh, you can of course approximate by uh, uh, algebraic variety, by smooth schemes, and then uh, you get, but uh, I don't think, uh, so I've not seen the details. But the, the, the commutative group, non commutative group scheme is considered is quite involved. It's a, a, some, uh, some semi-direct product of some uh, uh, SLV by some, uh, uh, also some um, kernel of P on some, uh, you take an elliptic curve over the ZP or maybe some extension. Which is uh, just to say W of, uh, of uh, uh, some extension F, 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 FQR. And then you assume that uh, it, it doesn't have a lift of Frobenius. And uh, <clears throat> then uh, you use that. Uh, so the reduction is either super singular or it is ordinary, and uh, then it is not canonical. So it's, it's a quite involved uh, construction. Now, a new approach, I'd say maybe, oh yes, I'm, I'm finished. So I just say that, uh, in fact, the, this uh, GM sharp, in fact, um, uh, appears uh, uh, more naturally somehow, or in a different way, uh, in uh, recent, very recent uh, work by Cha Chang Li and Shubha Deep Mondal, that in fact, uh, they show that it is uh, very natural. This is actually the automorphism of Durham functor. So, uh, uh, GMK sharp is the automorphism of R tilde over WK goes to uh, omega uh, dot, uh, like uh, commutative algebra objects in the derived category of K. And this uh, at least uh, gives an, a, a negative answer, a partial negative answer to the, uh, uh, the previous question. So you, there cannot be any functorial splitting, functorial in X tilde splitting of uh, uh, the Durham complex of a reduction. So thank you very much. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions? Ah, of Of <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh, I can see. Yeah, please. Yes. Often you can speak. Yes, I, I have a problem in the so in the theorem LM you take automorphism in which sense you have a functor from smooth algebras in the usual sense smooth of finite type I suppose. Uh, yes. Uh, and then you <coughs> take the Durham complex, but is it as a in some derived category or in what in what in which category? So uh, what they say is that they take the uh, uh, commutative algebra object in the infinity derived category of uh, k vector spaces. Ah, okay. So it, it uses uh, uh, okay. So and uh, so it is, and you cannot uh, replace it by more naive. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Any questions? So at the at the end of uh, back to lecture, he he mentioned that uh, uh, there is some uh, something uh, some speculation on, on Hurwitz Vito differential. Do you, do you have some some feeling on his comment? Um, no, because I, mm. uh, what I got is just uh, a, a two three pages mm. by, from him uh, yesterday and. Uh, mm. This is exactly mm. uh, this uh, cryptic uh, mention. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, mm. I, no, I, I don't know. Yes, it, it, it mm. is uh, fascinating too. Yes, that these uh, mm. uh, the differentials uh, that you consider that appear there. But uh, no, I, I, so I hope uh, some uh, more uh, detailed notes will uh, will be available soon. Uh, 
I don't know. Mm. Uh, also, the, no. many of the points I discussed in the, 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 the last part uh, uh, require uh, mm. uh, more, more details. Uh, yes. Uh, um, no. Uh, maybe my question is uh, stupid, but uh, is there any uh, benefit to use uh, a prismatic uh, formalism for for this uh, <laughs> composition theory? <laughs> uh, yes, maybe this is uh, in fact an excellent question. Yes, excellent <laughs> question. Yes, <laughs> you see uh, this uh, uh, new p action, which is really uh, extraordinary. Uh -huh. I, uh, it didn't appear on the prismatic side uh, site mm -hmm. and didn't appear on the crystalline site, uh, which is about the same. So it appears as a, the consequence of this uh, stacky approach. But at mm -hmm. the end, you see, if you think of this uh, theorem of uh, uh, Shang Li and uh, Shubhadeep Mandal, then maybe you, would, you don't need it because you just look at the automorphism of the, the um, uh, uh, functor from uh, W2 to K. And uh, this is the whole automorphism. So it's a big, auto so in fact, they, they study not just the automorphism, but all, also the endomorphism. So there is uh, also an endomorphism given by Fabian. So you, you have everything which is, which is there. And so, but you see, in order to prove their theorem, they still use a little bit of the stack. So uh, I don't know. Mm. So and a related question, uh, maybe you, you know about it. And so Bargav yesterday discussed about the, the Simpson uh, uh, stack uh, in the, uh, over complex numbers. So Simpson stack is a, 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 a crystalline stack or infinitesimal stack. So the quotient of X by the, the formal completion of X in the diagonal. And uh, this is very nice. And I, I don't know of any, uh, any result uh, that uh, uh, of the same flavor as this uh, the, uh, we have in mixed characteristic. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm quite ignorant there. Mm. Um, also, another uh, question I'm, uh, I'm uh, quite... Uh, uh, you see, uh, you know, for example, you think of a, a, a semi-stable reduction and you have a, a variety X proper over the, the field of fractions and uh, the, 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 the WK and the, or maybe some uh, uh, the, the, the fraction field of some uh, finite extension. And uh, then you assume a semi-stable reduction. Then uh, we all know that uh, there is an impotent operator on this, uh, this Durham cohomology. So this is not visible in the in the naive thing. So you say, mm. uh, can, can we? Where, where is it important to use uh, 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 the log geometry? So here, of course, we use log geometry to prove that. So we see something new. So in in, the, in a way, uh, this. Uh, 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 stack plays the role of this uh, log structure. We uh, we see uh, mm -hmm. some hidden uh, new structure there. Uh, and uh, one can ask more. For example, uh, uh, how about the action of this nilpotent operator on the uh, on the Hodge filtration? So uh, the Barga recently told me that probably. You don't have a, a, a Griffith the transversality, but something uh, something worse. So not F i to F uh, uh, i minus one, but F i minus p, something like that. So <laughs> anyway, so this uh, so thank you. This is a very nice question, actually. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you for explaining at atmosphere <laughs> of. Using. <laughs> Do you see? Any question? Uh, so let the uh, 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 let's thank the speaker again. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very uh, much. So uh, please, <laughs> so you are yeah, yeah. the last yes. speaker. <laughs> yes, as I'm the the last speaker, I'd like to. 
very warmly uh, thank and congratulate the uh, organizers uh, of this conference, uh, Ahmed Abbas, uh, Kenichi Banai, uh, Naoki Imai, uh, Tadashi Ochai, and Atsushi Shiova, a really a remarkable uh, job they, they have done. The, the careful uh, uh, planning of the talks, uh, optimizing the schedule uh, with respect to the time constraints, uh, uh, during the talks, uh, uh, paying constant attention to uh, solving uh, any uh, uh, problem of connection that could occur, the perfect recordings that were immediately available, which is uh, fantastic. And uh, also one last thing, I want to uh, thank them and uh, congratulate them for that, which was quite new to me. And uh, when I used that, I felt much younger. So this is this uh, gather town uh, 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 technique. So I enjoyed it very much. Uh, not only uh, being a ghost so from time to time, which uh, you can do only in your dreams, but uh, uh, really uh, being able to, uh, to talk to people in the room, or either uh, with several people or in, in, uh, in, uh, in private. So that was uh, really wonderful. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, Though, of course, it's nothing compared to being there. I wish I, I could have come to, uh, to Tokyo, uh, yes. And uh, maybe uh, we'll, uh, we'll meet again in person uh, sometime if uh, the virus is uh, the new variant, maybe uh, uh, doesn't kill uh, us uh, all. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I think that maybe uh, uh, Atsushi uh, wants to say something, no? Uh, yes. Uh... So yeah, <laughs> so thank you very much for all the speakers for wonderful talks and yes, and uh, thank you very much for all the participants for coming to the conference. Uh, yes, uh, yes, the yeah, it, it is uh, hard to overcome the time difference. Yeah, in, but uh, still, uh, we have a lot of participants. So thank you very much. So maybe Ahmed, do you want, do you want to say something? No, thank you. You said everything. Okay. So thanks okay. for taking care of a big uh, part of the work. And uh, special thank to Naoki for running uh, Zoom uh, and uh, to Kinichi for uh, his uh, taking care of Gather Town. And congratulations. Happy birthday to Takeshi. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Like so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so thank you very much. So let me first thank you the organizers again. Uh, Ahmed Abes, uh, Kenichi Bannai, uh, Naoki Imai, uh, Tadashi Ochiai, and uh, Atsushi Shiho. So uh, they, they prepared everything very carefully under uh, this uh, difficult situation in, in pandemic. And I, I also want to thank the speakers for beautiful and stimulating lectures, and also to the, uh, all the participants for attending the lectures and uh, making uh, many questions to make the, this conference very lively. So I'm really happy to have this conference uh, uh, to remember how, the, how different the, the life was uh, before this pandemic. So I, yeah. Uh, Yes, uh, yeah, so thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you again uh, or uh, physic uh, physically in near future or maybe shortly in, in this Gaza town again. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, I think we're there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you and take care and see you. I hope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Yeah, bye -bye. thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> Keep safe. Yeah.